In this part, we will describe the controls and indications of all the cabin exits, the escape slides, the emergency equipment, and the evacuation command system. Let's start with a short introduction to the CIDS. Various cabin systems are controlled, tested, and monitored by the Cabin Intercommunication Data System, CIDS. The CIDS is composed of two directors, one in active mode and one in hot standby. It is linked to the forward attendant panel, FAP, for control and monitoring of the cabin functions. The director communicates through decoder encoder units, DEUs, with the cabin, passengers and crew systems. The programming and test panel, PTP, is used to program and test the CIDS. Each main cabin crew station is equipped with a communication system, including a handset and an attendant panel, emergency equipment stowage. The forward attendant panel, FAP, is located at the purser station. The FAP is divided into four parts. The air conditioning panel, optional, the light panel, the audio panel, the water and miscellaneous panel. The programming and test panel, PTP, is located next to the forward attendant panel behind a hinged access door. It is equipped with a cabin assignment module, CAM, which contains all the software of customer-specific layout and defined parameters. The PTP informs the crew about the cabin system status. The aft attendant panel, AAP, is located at the rear left crew station. It allows the control of some cabin systems. The attendant indication panel, AIP, is part of the communication system and located near each main cabin crew station. Communication and system-related messages are displayed. The area call panel, ACP, indicates crew communication, pink steady or flashing, passenger call, blue steady, Lavatory call, amber steady. Lavatory smoke detection, amber flashing. The ACPs are installed in the cabin ceiling at both ends of the passenger compartment. All the handsets are identical. They can be used for passenger announcements and for interphone calls. The A319 and A320 aircraft are equipped as follows. A320, two forward, two aft cabin doors, and four overwing emergency exits, two on each side. A319, two forward, two aft cabin doors, and two overwing emergency exits, one on each side. Let's start with the forward and aft doors. All these doors are equipped with a control handle used for door operation. Three assist handles to enhance safety during door operation, two on the door frame and one on the door itself. One mechanical indicator for checking the door unlocked locked status. An evacuation device is stowed in a container on the lower part of the door. A control lever is used to arm or disarm the device. A disarmed, armed control window indicates the status. The door support arm houses the emergency opening cylinder and the pressure gauge. A gust lock on top of the support arm must be pressed to unlock the door from the open position. Each door has an observation window equipped with a sun shield. Near the window, there are two electrical indicator warnings. One indicator which illuminates white when the slide is armed and the door handle moved up. 
One indicator which flashes red in case of cabin pressurization when both engines are off and the door is disarmed. The lights are also visible from the outside. Let's continue with the overwing exits. The A319 A320 overwing emergency exits can be opened from outside and inside. Inside opening instructions are placarded on the exit frame and on the passenger seat backs. A cover flap protects the control handle. A slide armed indication illuminates white when the cover flap is removed. The two forward and the two aft cabin doors are equipped with either a single lane escape slide, as shown on the picture, or a slide raft. The inflation and deployment is automatically initiated when the cabin door is opened in the armed mode. Should the escape slide not inflate automatically, the red manual inflation handle located on the right hand side of the girt bar must be pulled. The slide is equipped with a lighting system supplied from the integral emergency power supply units. The lights are automatically supplied when the slide is deployed. In case of a pressure loss, the red handles on the lower part of the escape device allow the slide to be used as a handheld escape chute. The overwing emergency exits control a dual lane escape slide. The overwing escape slide is automatically deployed when an exit is opened. Two emergency lights underneath the wing exits illuminate the escape way leading to the escape slide, pointed out with red fluorescent arrows. Should the automatic sequence fail, a red handle located in each exit frame, when pulled, activates the manual inflation. In case of a cabin depressurization, oxygen masks automatically drop down. The masks are located over the passenger seats, over each cabin crew station and in the lavatories. There are always extra masks at all seats, each crew station and in the lavatories, although the specific layout is optional. Each oxygen unit is fitted with one generator, which is designed to produce oxygen for either two, three or four masks. The masks are provided with a flexible supply hose, a flow indicator and a reservoir bag. They are attached to the generator by means of a pin, which automatically starts the generation of oxygen when it is pulled away from the cylinder. A door stop is used for the test procedure and prevents the masks from dropping. The number of masks contained in the unit is indicated on it. Portable oxygen bottles and masks are located in the cabin for first aid purposes. Protective breathing equipment, PBE, is located in the vicinity of cabin crew stations, primarily for use in a smoke-filled environment. The emergency evacuation alert system may be activated either from the cockpit or the purser station. An evacuation signal and a horn reset push button are located at the purser station, at the aft left crew station and in the cockpit. On the evac panel in the cockpit, a switch allows the evacuation command to be activated from the purser station and the cockpit or from the cockpit only. In this module, the controls and indicating the doors and exits, the slides, the emergency equipment and the evacuation command system of the cabin have been presented. Let's now see how to use this equipment in the cabin system operation module.